Stage six of the Volta a España, the peloton are hugging the coastline, heading towards the region of Murcia, the hometown of Alejandro Valverde, wearing the white jersey for the combination classification. The destination, San Javier, the stage, 155.7 kilometres, two category three climbs, plus the intermediate sprint, the final climb coming with 52 kilometres remaining. As soon as the flag dropped at kilometre zero, the first man to attack, the leader of the King of the Mountains classification, Luis Angalmate of the Cofidis team. The red jersey sitting on the shoulders of Rudy Mala, holding on to a 41 second advantage over Mikhail Kwiatkowski. His teammates contributing to the chase behind the breakaway group of three, which in addition to Mate included Richie Port and also from Borgos BH, the best place rider in the breakaway, Jorge Corbero at more than 13 minutes behind. A surprising move by Port to go into the breakaway. Not so much Luis Angalmate as he was looking to collect more points in the race for the King of the Mountains classification and extend his lead over the Frenchman, Pierre Roland. Back in the main peloton, the teams of the sprinters doing most of the controlling with quick step for Alia Viviani and Trek Segafredo for Giacomo Nitolo and plenty of contribution as well from the teammates of Rudy Millar at Group Armour FDJ. As the break was just about caught, Port and Mate surrendered as Cubero went on to see if he could survive just a little bit longer. He was caught with 29 kilometres remaining and was later rewarded with the most combative prize. As they entered one of the tricky villages, it was Victor Carpenarts who collected some of the street furniture and was amongst the victims. So too Fabio Fellini. That caused a split in the peloton as they came underneath the kite with one kilometre remaining. There was little more than 40 riders remaining in contention. Quick step looking to set up the sprint for Alio Viviani. It got a little disrupted towards the end. Trentin got things started. Van Poppel tried to challenge, but it was Buhani who silenced the critics. Last on stage five, first on stage six. Victory for the Frenchman. Always caught in controversy, always in the headlines. This time for Buhani, it was for all the right reasons. Collecting his first stage victory here in four years. It was four years ago, I won a similar stage to this with FDJ, in a stage with Echelons. And last time I finished last before the stage that I won. It's incredible that I finished last the day before and I won the day after. Exactly the same as today. Buhani winning ahead of Danny Van Poppel. It was the fast finish in Ala Viviani in third place, followed by Consoni and then Trentin. In the race for the red jersey, Mollard defends ahead of Kwiatkowski and then Borkman. But the big loser of the day, Wilco Kalderman, the Dutchman, he punched and conceded one minute and 44 seconds, slipping outside of the top 10 in the overall standings. Stage seven, and it could be another opportunity for the sprinters. Pozo Alcon is the destination, 185 kilometres. Two category three climbs, but barely a flat road along the journey. More than 2,000 metres worth of altitude gain throughout the stage and an uphill run towards the finish line. The red jersey, though, still sits on the shoulders of Rudy Millar.